Now, okay, when paper 3 is asking you to heat a spatula of solid in the qualitative analysis, you focus on these six questions when you are observing the heating. Uh, first, we start with uh, initial color of solid before heating. Uh, what does it mean? Now, you'll be able to see the color of the solid that is provided to you as sample in the exam. So this, you will describe it as a blue-green solid. Uh, this one, you'll describe it as a white solid. And this one is actually potassium magnet 7. It is a purple solid. Okay. So initial color means you describe the color of the solid before heating. Second question will be, does the solid melt? So let's show you a video on how heating a solid that makes the solid melt. So this solid melt upon heating. So if you observe a solid melt upon heating, so please write solid melts. The third question would be, is there condensation? So this is another video showing thermal, thermal decomposition of zinc carbonate. So you see that there are water droplets near the top of the boiling tube. Uh, this is actually condensation of the steam that is produced from heating this solid. So if you observe something like this, please write down condensation upon heating. So the next question will be, uh, what happened to the solid, right? Do you see any residue? After heating, some solids will sublime and totally disappear from the tube. So you can write no residue. If there is a residue, please write down the color of the residue. So let's look at this video. Uh, a copper compound is heated and at the end, a black residue is formed. So, you may describe the residue as black residue form. Okay. You are reminded to not write precipitate for the residue. Heating of a solid produce another solid. It's not precipitate form. Precipitate is used to describe the solid that is formed from mixing two clear solutions. Let's look at the second last question, any characteristic movement. Some solid will jump upon heating, for example, copper carbonate. So this is the same video that we were watching just now. Copper carbonate upon heating, the solid will jump around in the test tube. So this is a very characteristic movement for heating copper carbonate. So please write down as one of your observations. Right, the last one would be the test for gases produced upon heating. Whenever you are asked to heat a solid, a gas will be formed from heating the solid because the solid decomposes to form something else. Right, so please identify the gas that is produced upon heating. So this is an example from a past paper. FB5 is a compound containing one K-ion and one N-ion. And in part A1, we are asked to heat a small spatula of FB5. So FB5 is a white solid at start. That's, that's the first question that you ask yourself while, before you heat the solid. Second is, does it melt? If there's no melting, you do not have to record now anything about melting. The question will be, is there condensation of steam? Okay, if there is water droplets uh, near the top of the boiling tube, okay, then write down as condensation upon heating. Heating of FP5 uh, leaves no residue at the end, so write down no residue. Since there's no residue, we cannot describe the color. And there's no jumping of solid, so we do not have to record that down. And the last one would be, a gas will be produced, so we have to identify the gas, right? So uh, go through the qualitative analysis note to know which gases are possible and test the gas to identify it. So this gas turns the red must paper blue. So this is ammonia gas. Right, so to recap, 
these are the six questions that you ask yourself every time you want to record down observations when hitting solids.